Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm Nicole Chantel. And if you like beauty videos, 31 days of Halloween, and Friday vlogs, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and become a part of my makeup family. With all that being said, let's jump right into this video. Hello my loves. So today is all about purchase or pass on products that I'm going to be purchasing or passing on. So let's let's just get right into it right away. All the pictures that I will be posting in this video is from Trim Mood's Instagram page. If you don't follow her, you should. She will keep you up to date on all new makeup releases. I absolutely love her page. When she posts, I'm like, okay, I'm really excited for this product. Come on, I need it in my life right now. So let's just talk about the products that I'm going to be looking at here. So the first one here is by Kali Cosmetics and it's the Summer 2019 collection and this is already launched which was um, July the 10th. Everything in this picture from the eyeshadow palette to the lipsticks to the lip blush to the glosses I'm passing on unfortunately. When I look at that eyeshadow palette it's pretty yes but you know, it's nothing special. The only color that I really gravitate towards in this palette, if you guessed it, you're so right, is the purple shade. That's it. The lipsticks look pretty. The glosses, you know, it's it's okay. To me, it's really not screaming summer. It's kind of like a little bit boring. And not only that, I really don't order from Kali Cosmetics anymore because the cost of shipping and customs is so high to get the products to me, so this whole entire collection will be a pass for me. Next up is from Natasha Denona, and it's the Mini Tropics Palette. This is already available, I already ordered it, I'm just waiting for it to get to me. When I seen this, I was like, yes please, I'm in love with it. I love the packaging, love the neon, because I'm so obsessed with neon. That purple shade really screams to me. Now these five shades are from the bottom um, of her Tropic palette, which I don't have, the bigger one. I did look at that in store when it first launched, I was like, mmm. Not really feeling it and I didn't want to pay the 162 price tag that came with that palette. Now for the mini palettes it's only $32 so I'm like okay I'm happy with that price. I really like the fact that brands are coming up with more minis and making it really affordable for people to buy because I really don't want to go spend $162. That's before tax so I'm almost going to spend like 200 bucks on a palette that you know, is okay. I know that the reviews weren't the greatest on that palette, but I do love her mini palettes. So when I seen this, I was like, okay, it's available online now. Went to my cart, added to my cart, and out the door went. So it's on the way. I will do a whole look, review, swatches, and everything with this. Like I said, I do have a few of her mini palettes, and I absolutely love them. I think the quality is great for those palettes, so I'm really curious to see how well this one is going to work. And the swatches look really pretty as well, but that like lavender shade, oh, screaming my name, so is that silver shade, it's so super pretty. So be on the lookout for that video, I will let you know if it's if it's good or not. Next up is from Tarte Cosmetics. Now, I love Tarte Cosmetics, but this looks boring. I'm just not interested in at all. It is the new addition to the Rainforest of the Sea line and it's the Foil Finger Paint Trios. They're going to be retailing for $25 each. This is already available and then there's H2O glosses which will be $19 each. Then there's a water foundation um, with an SPF of 15 and it's going to be in 30 shades and that's $39 each. And mm, yeah, I find that this is very boring. It seems like it's something that they've done before, those shades like done before. I just, yeah, I'm not interested in this at all. So I will be definitely passing on this whole entire line. So next up is from Urban Decay and this is the Stay Naked Collection by Urban Decay. So we have a foundation that's a liquid foundation in 50 shades. It'll be $39. Then you have a correcting concealer in 25 shades, $29. Then you have a Pro Customizer Color Correcting Fluid, which will be a full coverage formula. Has a real skin matte finish in two shades, $29 each, which will be pure white, pure red. Then you have a Lip Vice uh, 
I'm not going to go on with this because it will be available online at Urban Decay July the 19th and Ulta July the 21st, July the 29th, Sephora, Macy's, Nordstrom starting August 1st in all stores, Canada and UK July the 18th, all international August. I'm, I'm not excited for this. Um, and then we have a Build Plus Blend Sponge for $18, which is a soft sponge with a silicone center that ensures smooth makeup application without soaking up any excess product. Okay, so maybe I'm curious about the sponge, but everything else, no. To be quite honest, I'm really not a big Urban Decay fan anymore, like I used to be, but now I'm just like, no. There's so many other brands that I just have a strong love for and I'm really curious to try out and test out. So everything in this collection I'm passing on, except for the sponge. If that's available into Sephora, I will take a look at it just to see how well it looks and maybe I'll pick it up, test it out to really see how well that like silicone center works. But other than that, everything is a pass for me. Next up we have the Pat McGrath Labs and this is the mini lip balm trio. I already purchased it. <laughs> there was like a 24 hour early access online at Sephora. I was like, okay, hello. Yes, you, I wanna try you. I definitely do because it was like $35 for three of these. And once again, I think this is great that high-end brands are coming up with mini products for us to try because for her full size products in lip products, they're so super expensive. It's like $52, I think, for a lipstick and even for the lip balms. Um, so when I seen this, I was like, okay, the shades look really pretty. They look super shiny and gorgeous and just really silky looking. Um, I love the packaging as well, the white with the gold lips. I think that's so super cute. I think that, like, once again, more makeup brands need to come out with minis to make it more affordable for everybody to purchase. And to be quite honest, I love mini lip products because I find that I use them up more. They're not just sitting there like my full size lip products and I really get a great use out of the mini lip products. So this one here, I already purchased. Next up, we have Charlotte Tillsbury and this is the new foundation and it's the Airbrush Flawless Foundation, the secret to a flawless, poreless looking complexion, full coverage, weightless in 44 shades. Okay, I like that, 44 shades. Thank you very much, Charlotte Tillsbury. Um, I'm really curious to see if this is gonna be available online at Sephora, because if it is, I'm definitely going to be popping this into my cart. Um, I am porcelain, so sometimes I find that porcelain shades are either too light or too dark and sometimes they're just perfect. So I'm really curious to see how well this is going to work. Hopefully it will be available online at Sephora. If it is, I'm gonna be purchasing it and I will let you guys know how well it works with my dry skin. And it also says coming soon at Charlotte Tillsbury will keep you up to date. So there's really no um, release date on this foundation yet. So I will keep you up to date. Hopefully it will be available online at Sephora. If it is, I will be purchasing this foundation. So I was just looking on Tremont's Instagram page again and I was just scrolling up after talking about those products and then it shows the swatches of the new Charlotte Tillsbury foundation, the Airbrush foundation, and it says that's gonna be long wear, weightless, full coverage, poreless, natural looking, matte finish. And it says that it's coming soon, August and September at Charlotte Tillsbury. We'll keep you up to date. So there are the swatches of the foundations. Um, the shade 1C or 1N would probably look the best for me. So I'm happy now that I just like scrolled up more to look because there it is. <laughs> Next up is from Lady Gaga. So. All these sneak peeks, I was really super excited for it. I was like, okay, I need to see these products. I want to see what she is releasing. So this is called the Lip Gloss Lip Liner Kits by House Laboratories by the one and only Lady Gaga. The first launch will include six lip liners and this says it's a demi-matte waterproof and sharpable. 
and then there's going to be six lip glosses and these are going to be a high shine with a shimmer pearl and pure pigment finish that sounds very interesting and then Glamatech, which is a liquid shimmer powders that you can layer on top of other products to transform their finish or wear alone that sounds really interesting as well and it says shake well first and then there's a whole bunch of like nine different duos you could get two lip liners for $26 two glosses for $32 two Glamatex for $36 and then there's going to be six different three-piece sets for $49 each and this brand is vegan and cruelty free and this will be available pre-order online at House Labs July the 15th and Amazon it says there hashtag Amazon and it says midnight PST time and yes yeah, so and then it says they plan a September launch official launch September so this looks really intriguing um, not so much the lip liners I mean they look pretty but the lip glosses with a pure pigment finish that really caught my eye when they said that and then the shimmer powders that you could wear alone or transform your finish those two sound really interesting so I'm going to keep an eye out when this is launching for pre-order and just to see how much shipping is going to be because if it is high shipping then I'm going to be passing on this whole collection but the lip liners I'm definitely going to pass on but the lip glosses and the liquid shimmer powders look really interesting so I will keep you guys up to date and I love the swatches the swatches look beautiful like really gorgeous so let's just see how much the shipping is going to be if it's really overpriced then I'm going to be passing on it but if it's like okay I could deal with that then I will be purchasing the products so you guys that's it for purchase or pass on new makeup releases of course there's some products I already purchased that I can't wait to get my hands on can't wait to test out but let me know in the comments down below is there any of these products that I've been talking about today that you're going to be purchasing or are you going to be passing on and let me know if there's anything that I didn't talk about that you're going to buy and you're like hey Nicole you should really take a look at this you should buy it I think you're going to love it let me know in those comments down below I really hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!